Yo, what's going on, sexy sound? Let us go today. We're doing a ranked one. We want to play in chalk, and we're gonna do the full green build. Now, this build is a little weird. Um because well first off, you have no mana in the build, basically. Um, and secondly, you have to auto attack a lot, but you don't have any attack speed. So like it, it, it's gonna be weird. But basically, the reason I'm doing it is because I did this before. But Sekhmet Scepter was bad before. It only reduced cooldowns by half a second. Now it reduces by a full second. So if you were to combine all of these items right here, well, plus a Genji's, which is green, plus a Soul Eater, which is green, um, plus Golden Gooseberries, which is green, you would have a six item green build. And by the way, meditation is green. So that's awesome. There's no other like green relic other than sprint when it's upgraded to the, uh, the root sprint, then it's kind of green. So that's, that's the plan. Can I do it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I kind of assume that I will not be able to do it. Especially against the soul. Soul's early game pressure is... I mean, it's it's known, you know? Alright. I'm actually pretty happy with this so far. I really thought I'd be worse off right now. But like... I don't know. I'm actually feeling pretty good. I'm actually feeling pretty good here. The combo with blue buff and my passive really makes it feel like my mana is fine. Even though I, I only have 300 of it. Seems like he's just gonna be one of those one of those souls that like walks in and out forever. Which I'm kind of okay with. Okay. I guess I guess all for red buff is probably worth it for him. Oh, so close, man. It's time for repair. That was actually so close. All right, let's go grab Soul Eater. And I guess tier one Genji's. He's got the Bancroft's. That's okay, right? I don't care that much. By the way, make no mistake, this build is terrible. Just so everyone's aware, I'm not like trying to... I'm not like trying to debate you guys into being like, Oh my god, green items are so much better than red items and blue items. And god forbid you buy a yellow item, you know? Like... <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I just thought it'd be funny to have a full green build. So I'm trying it. 
so far it's not funny it's just bad but maybe soon it will be funny ouch The Bancrofts. There's no way, bro. He lived with that much HP. hitting me he heals so much actually but I heal a lot too and I do a lot of damage I'm definitely winning this battle. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go, dude. Huge kill. Actual huge kill. Oh my god, I just realized how much freaking gold I have. These fights are so long. These fights are actually really long. Alright, I do want cooldown. So I'm just gonna do... I'm gonna go Genji's first, and then I'll go... Maybe I'll go Cad Club first just because it gives cooldown. And cooldown is like massively important. Oh uh, no, I have I have a lot of cooldown actually, like already. Do we think he's coming from over here because he did the XP camp or his blue buff? I mean, clearly it was because of the XP camp, but he didn't do the treasure chests. Why? This is the best part of going over there. I need to punch him in the forehead a little more so I can get my golden gooseberries. There we go. Some golden gooseies. Man. So freaking fast. He's going to get that wave. That's fine. Honestly, I think because Soul Eater gives me 10% cooldown, my passive gives me 10% because I'm a warrior, and Genji's gives me 10% plus the proc. I think I'm fine on cooldown right now. And I'm able to just kind of go straight into Vital, which is going to give me a lot of attack speed. Hello. gonna be one of those games huh where he just tries to walk past me and I'm irrelevant to him there's no green anti-heal item is there
Honestly, my attack speed feels really good right now. All right. He ulted for red once again. Heals so much. He's healing so much. Well, your blue is up. The blue is up, and you don't have mana. It's my blue. Nice. And XP camp is up. Nice. Perfect. And my blue is up. Nice. Did get toxic blade. Hmm. Just go back here. Let's go Sekmets. Because now that's gonna lower my cooldown even more. Not to mention it gives me the cooldown reduction. So I now have 30% actual built-in reduction. Ow. it could be worse but it though this game is never gonna end is infinite anti heal now Probably just gonna alt this again. Oh, I got it. Nice alt. Go get it anyways. Let's go, dude. Hold on. Wait just a second, baby. I'm not using my three because I want my vital amplifier um, for the tower, obviously. The Phoenix, I mean. Let's go vital. Let's get this Phoenix. Nice, I got it. Oh, no way. I get this too, dude. Oh my god. Do I get the whole lap? I get the whole victory lap? Oh my god, I get the whole victory lap, dude. This is crazy. He has so much anti-heal and he's not able to do anything. Okay, you know what I said this build was really bad? And not to do it. Just because it's green um you sh you should maybe do it by the way that's kind of annoying i mean i guess his shirt is still green so it still kind of counts but it's still annoying that it's like a blue background it ruins my aesthetic 
What if I just WK the shit out of you? I mean, that worked out really well. Okay, I just straight forced his ult for no reason. Because I was a massive W key annoyer. Bonk. Oh my god, bro. Oh man. I might actually lose the game off that play. I really thought maybe I could like I could win. Um But my damage is pretty low. <laughs> My damage is pretty low. I have like no cooldowns at all and it feels amazing when I'm fighting him. But when I'm not fighting him specifically, Sekmets doesn't go off unless you're hitting a god. Right? Yeah, unless an enemy god. So like when you're not actually punching him in the face, it feels a little bit worse. The build does. That being said, Still not bad. And I will be getting that Phoenix. All right, I'm chilling. He knows he can't find me. Okay, well, he can steal that, I guess, but. Phoenix down. Feeling good. Do we think he got the red buff? That was a dumb question. I died and killed the Titan at the same time. Oh my God. That's insane. I actually died and killed the Titan at the same time. Bro, the full green build. The full green build. It actually feels amazing. Like early game, it sucks. And you're going to hate yourself. And you're not going to have any fun. You're going to be like, why Sam? Why, why is this happening to me? And then you're going to get like to the Sekhmet's part. And you're going to be like, oh my God, Sam, I'm having so much fun. I'm, I love you. Kiss me in the mouth. And then you're going to get to the late game part where he's, you're level 20. And you're going to get back to the, oh my God, Sam, I hate you. Until you get past level 20 and you get to 500 pot and the med and the upgraded sprint. And then you're going to be back to, oh my God, Sam, this is amazing. So it's going to be a little bit of a ride, but it's amazing. And I hope you guys try it out. If you enjoyed the video, if, make sure to like it subscribe and comment obviously and uh until next time guys peace